Hello dear friends, welcome my channels. Today's discussion is top 7 integrations. These integrations are top. Why? Because both are very very interesting. Interesting. So friends, my first problem is find integration f z a is equal to x to the power z x square plus 2 a x plus 1 dx and hence deduce the value hence deduce value the a is equal to n equals to 0 to infinity 3 n n x to the power n so friends how can i solve this because here i use some special functions note Note summation n equals to infinity u n x t to the power n equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 2 t x plus square 2tx minus 2t square so friends this is the unx t to the power n now you see that 1 by x square plus 2ax plus 1 can be written in this way summation n equals to 0 to infinity u n e x to the power n okay i hope i can clear minus x to the power n it can be written this way minus so friends higher higher u n x is the shabby shape shabby shape polynomial higher shape shape polynomial using Ramanujan Masters Theorem We have If a comma z equals to zero to infinity x to the power z divided by x square plus two ax 
plus 1 equals to pi divided by sine pi j and u minus j e and divided by pi sine pi j and now you have to remember friends note shibish polynomial second kind it is his must remember second kind this is you have to remember so note u in e u in cos theta u in cos theta equals to sin n plus 1 theta divided by sin theta here cos theta equals to a that implies theta equal to cos inverse a so this equation can be written sin 1 minus j cos inverse e divided by sin cos inverse e so friends this is my answer this is my answer so I find out I find out f j comma e. Now my target to find out this value. I want to deduce this value. So how can I deduce? Now h is equal to summation n equals to zero to infinity three n n x to the power n now i use whatever i want to use i want to use gamma triplicate gamma triplicate formula so friends 3 n factorial equals to gamma 3n plus 1 equals to 1 by 2 pi gamma n plus 1 by 3 gamma n plus 2 by 3 gamma So friends, so friends, three n comma n can be written this way. Three to the power two n. plus half so 3 n comma n i can write this way root 3 divided by 2 pi summation n equals to 0 to infinity 3 to the power 2 n x to the power n 0 to 1 
u to the power n 1 by 3 into 1 minus u n into 2 by 3 d sorry this is not happening here you will not get any x to the power n okay how is this because how is this because 3 n n is equal to 3 n c n and it can be written this way 3 n factorial divided by n factorial and 2 n factorial and it can be represented this way that c to the power 2 n plus half divided by 2 pi and beta n divided by 2 by 3 beta n plus 1 by 3 so friends i can write this way so a is equal to root 3 divided by 2 pi summation i just putting the value of 3n comma n so whatever i get this value 3 to the power 2n x to the power n 0 to 1 u to the power n minus 1 by 3 and 1 minus u n 2 by 3 du So friends, I can write this way that root c divided by 2 pi 0 to 1 u to the power minus 1 by 3 1 minus u to the power by 2 by 3 divided by 1 minus 27 n x not n x one minus u du where a is equal to three by two root three x and u is equal to sine square theta and then tan theta is equal to x we have h is equal to 0 to infinity x to the power one third one plus x square divided by 
x square plus 2x plus 1 into x square minus 2ax plus 1 dx we have substitution this is sub substitution so is can be written root over 3 divided by 2 pi and here also root over 3 divided by 2 pi it can be written this way root over 3 divided by 2 pi plus 1 by 2 if 1 third comma a plus 1 by 2 if Seven by three minus a minus one by four a if four by three minus a. Minus one by four a if ten by three minus a because friends j equals to one by three okay and plus plus 1 by 2 if 7 by 3 comma a plus 1 by 4 a if 4 by 3 comma a plus 1 by 4 a if 10 by 3 comma e this is my total is value frames and it can be written this way 2 cos 1 by 3 sin inverse 3 root 3 divided by 2 x divided by divided by root over 4 minus 27 x so friends i will not discuss how to come this because this a great calculations so this is your homework to calculate this and if it is correct please tell me in comment sections i hope that i can clear this concept and you will find out in your home very simple calculations you will calculate how can calculate because the, the, you will just simplify means it is partial means these equations can be written a x plus b x square plus 2x 2ax 
plus 1 and plus cx plus d divided by x square minus 2ax plus 1. This way you will break it and after that comparing with it and you will get this kind of answer. It is your duty to find out this. I just explain how to solve this type of problem because this is very large and I don't have so many time. So let's start to solve this problem. x is equal to tan inverse x x square plus 4x plus 3 x is equal to 2 minus t divided by 1 plus 2t and dx equals to minus 5 divided by 1 plus 2t whole square which formula you use du dx of u by v b square into v into du by dx minus u into dp by dx and after that x square plus 4x plus 3 can be written this way after calculations t square plus 40 plus 3 divided by 1 plus 2t whole square and now I am just putting this value, I just write it as omega, so omega equals to 0 to 2 tan inverse 2 minus t divided by 1 plus 2t and 1 plus 2t whole square divided by t square plus 4t plus 3 dt and after that we can write this way 2 into omega equals to integration 0 to t to tan inverse 2 divided by t square plus 40 plus 3 dt as tan inverse 2 minus t divided by 1 plus 2t can be written tan inverse 2 minus tan inverse t and I get this value and after that I can write this way 2 omega equals to tan inverse 2 0 half into 0 to 2 dt divided by 2 plus 1 minus 0 to 2 dt 
divided by t plus 3 ln3 minus ln i by 3 and after that it can be written tan inverse 2 divided by 2 ln 9 by 5 so this is my answer Next problem friends, next problem is very simple, 0 to 1 x ln gamma to the power 4 x dx. So friends, using Kumar Uriyar series log gamma x equals to half log pi sin pi x plus gamma half minus x plus 1 by pi summation n equals to infinity ln n by n sin 2 pi n x sin 2 pi n x now Now it is clear to write this way 4 into 0 to 1 ln ln gamma x dx is equal to i. So i can be written this way 2 ln pi 0 to 1 x dx minus 2 into 0 to 1 x ln sin pi x dx plus 2 gamma ln 2 pi Zero to one x dx. It can be written by into four divided by two. I can write this way, and after that, zero to one x square dx one by pi summation n equals to 1 ln n by n 
and I use integrating by parts I BP so I get this value is cos 2 pi in divided by 2 pi in minus 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 plus 1 by 2 pi in 0 to 1 cos 2 pi in x dx since integration 0 to 1 x ln sin pi x dx can be written 0 to pi take pi x is equal to p so sorry friends zero to pi and x can be written this way you want to pi squared by two log two and cos pi cos 2 pi in equals to 1 and sin 2 pi in so i can be written ln pi plus ln 2 minus gamma by 3 because this value this portion I need to explain that it can be written gamma plus ln 2 pi and it is 1 by 3 sorry not 1 by 3 it is 1 1 minus 4 by 3 so I can get minus 1 by alien 2 pi summation n equals to 1 to infinity alien n by n squared equals to it can be written 2 by 3 ln 2 pi minus gamma by 3 plus 2 by pi square zeta dash 2 derivative of zeta because zeta dash 2 equals to minus summation n equals to 1 to infinity ln by n square 
and i equals to two by three ln two by pi two pi minus comma by three theta dash two and theta dash two must remember note. This is no <coughs> zeta dash two equals to pi square by six into gamma plus pi square by six log two pi. minus 2 pi square log e now friends i am talking about this problem summation n equals to 2 to infinity zeta 2 minus 1 divided by n so how can i solve so i can write capital theta equals to summation n equals to 2 infinity Theta n minus 1 divided by n can be written summation n equals to 2 to infinity summation k equals to 2 to infinity one by n k to the power n and it can be written this way summation k equals to 2 1 by k whole to the power n divided by n and it can be written k equals to 2 infinity minus 1 by k minus ln 1 divided by 1 minus k so again it can be written s k equals to summation i equals to 2 to k equals to minus 1 by i minus ln 1 minus 1 by i one minus summation i equals to 1 to k 1 by i and it is ln k and limit k tends to infinity is k equals to 1 minus limit k tends to infinity summation i equals to 1 to k divided by 1 by i plus ln k equals to 1 minus nu so this is proved so friends let's start to solve next problem x is equal to tan alpha so it can be written this way 0 to infinity alpha divided by 1 plus tan square alpha d alpha as dx is equal to 6 square alpha d alpha so it can be written 1 plus tan square alpha d alpha 
and after that it can be written this way 0 to pi by 2 and 0 to pi by 2 alpha cos square alpha d alpha is equal to 0 to pi by 2 alpha 1 plus cos 2 alpha divided by 2 d alpha and it can be written this way pi square by 16 this portion and after that plus half into 0 to pi by 2 alpha cos alpha d alpha and using IBP integrating by parts so we get pi square by 16 minus 1 by 4 now friends we are going to solve cosator equation this equation is called co zetas integral so friends so friends let's start to solve let's take cos x divided by 1 plus 2 cos x equals to z okay i hope i can clear now this equation is cos inverse z cos inverse z and cos 2x can be written this way cos square x minus sine square x and this value this value can be written 2 cos square x minus 1 so it can be written this way 2 cos square x minus 1 let cos x equals to t so 2x equals to cos inverse 2 t square minus 1 I hope I can clear 2x is equal to 2 t square minus 1 and this formula is equals to 2 cos inverse t cos inverse t equals to 2 cos inverse t equals to 2x so z equals to now now z equals to z equals to 2 t square minus 1 so it can be written t equals to uh, sorry this is x is equal to x is equal to cos 2x is equal to 2 cos square x minus 1 and cos x is equal to t so cos inverse 2t square minus 1 is equal to 2 cos inverse t now j equals to 2t square 
टू सॉरी टी इक्वल्स टू रूटोभार जेड प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो फ्रेंड्स इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू पाई पाई टू कॉस इन भार्स कॉस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस टू कॉस एक्स इक्वल्स टू इनटू डी एक्स इक्वल्स टू जीरो टू पाइ बाइ टू कॉस इन्वर्स रूट ऑफ हार्ड वन प्लस कॉस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस टू कॉस एक्स बाय टू डीएक्स टू कॉस इन वर्स दिस सो एक्चुअली दिस इज कॉस इन वर्स या इट इज एक्स बिकॉज़ कॉस इन वर्स जेड इक्वल्स टू एक्स सो दिस वैल्यू विल बिकम टू इनटू जीरो टू पाई बाय टू कॉस इन वर्स रूट ऑफ हार्ड वन प्लस थ्री कॉस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस टू कॉस एक्स नाउ टेंजेंट इक्वल्स टू रूट ऑफ़ हार्ड साइन स्क्वायर जेड बाय कॉस स्क्वायर जेड इक्वल्स टू रूट ऑफ़ हार्ड वन माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर जेड डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस स्क्वायर जेड सो फ्रेंड्स आई जस्ट ट्राई To this, in this way, it can be written one minus one plus three cos x divided by one plus two cos x. No, sorry, two plus four cos x. This value is here. I have written mistake. Two plus four cos x divided by one plus three cos x divided by two plus four cos x and I convert into I take this. Cosetted integral is omega. So zero to pi by two is 
tan inverse root over 1 plus cos x divided by 1 plus 3 cos x dx After that, I can write x is equal to 2t, so dx is equal to 2 into dt and 0 to pi by 4 tan inverse one plus cos 2t divided by 1 plus cos 3t integration equals to 4 into 0 to pi by 4 tan inverse root over cos square t divided by 2 minus 3 sorry in here I have written wrong it is 2t 3 into 3 into cos 2t 3 into plus 3 minus 6 sin square t dt now it can be written 4 4 0 to pi by 4 tan inverse cos t divided by root of r 2 minus 3 sin square t and here is multiply with 2 cos square t so it is this way dt after that it can be written this way 4 into 0 to pi by 4 tan inverse now tan inverse this portion I can write this way zero to one root two minus three sine square t divided by cos t plus one divided by x square plus 2 minus 3 sine square t divided by cos square t dt into dx I can write this way for the next so friends, I can write this way 4, 4 into 4 into four into zero two pi by four 
into 0 to 1 3 sine square t divided by x square into cos square t plus 2 minus sine square t into cos t dx into dt very simple friends i just simplify yes. after that maintain 4 into 0 to pi by 4 into 0 to 1 cos square t can be detained root over 2 minus 3 sin square t cos t 1 minus sin square t x square plus 2 into sin square t dx into dt so four into zero two pi by two. Sorry, it is pi by three into zero two one because take let. sin t is equal to root 2 by 3 sin x so cos t dt equals to root 2 by 3 cos x dx so by the simplifications we can get I just simplify that with very large problem to cos square x divided by 3x square plus 6 minus 2 into 1 minus cos square x into x square plus 3 dx into d shy this is just shy shy so it will be written a to c into 0 to pi by 3 0 to 1 cos square x sorry cos square shy all are shy, I can write all is shy because I just change. I am changing everything. So, cos t equals to this is the this portion.
cos squared chi. x squared plus 2 cos squared chi into x squared plus 3 dx into d chi. So friends, again I can write 8 root 3 0 to root 3 integration 0 to 1 1 by 1 plus u square divided by x square plus 2 into 1 plus u square x square plus 3 divided by 1 plus u square let let u is equal to tan chi so t u is equal to sec square chi d chi You will do 1 plus tan square chi d chi. So I can write this way, and after that, after that, it can be written this way e to root 3 0 to root 3. And 0 to 1, 1 by 1 plus u square, u square x square plus 3 x square plus 6 into dx into du. So friends, 8 root 3 into 0 to root 3 0 to 1 1 divided by 2 x square plus 6 0 to root 3 du divided by 1 plus u square minus x square 0 to root 3 du divided by u square x square plus 3 x square plus 6. into into dx after that it can be written this way 8 root c one by zero two one one divide by two x square plus six pi by 3 divided by 0 to root 3 du divided by u square plus 3x square plus 6 divided by x square whole square equals to 8 root 3 pi 
divided by 3 0 to 1 dx divided by x square root 3 whole square minus 4 into 0 to Two one x divided by x square plus three root of hard x square plus two tan inverse x divided by root of hard x square plus two. So after that the value will come 4 into 0 to 1 tan inverse root over x square plus 2 x square plus 1 root of r x square plus 2 dx so this is a medi integral and this value is 4 into i pi square by 36 is equal to pi square by i pi square by 4 sorry not 4 i pi square by 9 this is my answer now we are target to solve this amid e integral this integral goes r amid e amid integral Ahmed integral. So he is also a mathematician, Ahmed and Rositar. Both are mathematicians. So let's start to solve this problem. Solution this is equals to I. I can be written this way 0 to 1 1 divided by x square plus 1 root over x square plus 2 0 to 1 dt divided by T square plus divided by x square plus 2 into dx. Simple technique friends. Equals to 0 to 1 and 0 to 1. 1 divided by x square plus 1 into t square into x square plus 2 plus 1 dt into dx and after that it can be written 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 1 divided by t square plus 1 x square plus 1 minus t square divided by t square plus 1 
divided by t square x square plus 2 t square plus 1 dx dt just split this this fraction just split I just split it now it can be written 0 to 1 dt divided by t square plus 1 0 to 1 dx divided by x square plus 1 minus this integrating t divided by root over 2t square plus 1 tan inverse t divided by root over t square plus 1 into this is my value so again whatever I get I get equals to 0 to 1 pi by 4 into this portion integration dt to d square this it can be written pi square by 16 minus 0 to infinity du divided by 1 plus u square 2 plus u square tan inverse t tan inverse 1 by root over 1 plus u square du where t equals to 1 by u very simple after that i can write it as pi square by 16 minus pi by 2 0 to infinity du 1 plus u square divided by 2 plus u square plus 0 to infinity tan inverse root of hard 2 plus u square divided by 1 plus u square over 2 plus u square du so friends whatever we get we get 0 to infinity tan inverse root over x square plus 2 divided by 1 plus x square root over x square plus 2 you will do a plus integration 1 to infinity fx dx so it can be written integration 0 to 1 1 by 1 plus t square 0 to infinity dx divided by x square plus 1 into 0 to infinity dx divided by x square plus root over 2t square plus 1 divided by 
टी स्क्वायर डीटी सो फ्रेंड्स दिस वैल्यू इज पाई स्क्वायर बाय एट माइनस पाई बाय फोर इनटू रूट ऑफ़ हार्ड जीरो टू root 3 into t u divided by u square plus 1 very large calculations so friends must remember u equal to 40 divided by sorry u equal to root of r 2 t square plus 1 and these equations will become t square plus 1 into root of hard 2 t square plus 1 so this value is coming i square by 24 so 0 to infinity tan inverse root over x square plus 2 divided by x square plus 1 root over x square plus 2 dx is equal to pi square by 8 minus pi square by 24 plus 1 to infinity fx dx equals to pi square by 12 plus 1 to infinity fx dx and <coughs> this value equals to pi square by 12 minus a now then now whatever we get this value equals to in this equation what is this value a plus this and my a value it can be right i write it as a e so e equals to pi square by you will see pi square by 16 minus pi square by 2 plus pi square by 12 minus e I just putting this value in here and and this value I just find out so 
so this equals to that implies 2a equals to pi square by 5 pi square I use mm -hmm. in here this value you mm -hmm. can get the value is pi pi square by thirty six. So Hi mm -hmm. pi square by eighteen. So E equals to hi pi square mm -hmm. by thirty six. This is my answer. I hope I can clear this large integral. integration is problem this integration is called amini integral thanks for watching